Hey guys, I'm very excited for today's video. We're going to be talking about a lot of things at once. So basically this is my 2021 finale for my rolling sample project pan. I'm going to let you know the things that I finished up this month. I'm going to give you some total numbers of what I've used up and decluttered for hair, skin, and body this year. I want to talk about some of the use up goals that I accomplished this year. And the main part of this video that will be, you know, about the last half or whatnot, will be me letting you know which samples I tried this year that I have on my wish list to purchase in the future, which I think is always very exciting. There are a lot of things that I try that I think are just fine or things that I'd be happy to use more samples of, but very rarely do I actually want to buy them because most of these are, you know, high-end brands that I've tried. High-end skincare is very expensive, but we have some great things to talk about here. Before we get started with all of that, I did want to show you guys that I did just get my very first tattoo. It says Landon in cursive handwriting with two daisies because he was born in April and that is his birth flower. I absolutely love it. The person that we went to was incredible. He was very kind, very gentle. He knew it was my first tattoo. I was really nervous about it and it really did not hurt too bad at all. It just felt like stinging and of course it's because I got something so small and there wasn't a lot of shading but I'm super happy with it. Very happy to have this. I don't think I have the tattoo bug though. I don't plan on getting others except since I have a land and tattoo if we have any other kids I will of course need to get tattoos for them as well but I really like the idea of this and if we have just one more kid then that would be perfect I can put their name and their birth flower here and let me know if you are in the DMV area looking for a tattoo artist so without further ado let's get into the purpose of today's video I am going to start by reviewing all of the products that I finished up in December and there were quite a bit. So starting with hair, like always, I did finish the last of my Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoos. You guys know I absolutely love this. I've tried other scalp scrubs. And because this one is more of a shampoo consistency, it is so much easier to work through the hair. I really like this. I would definitely purchase that. Then... For my deep conditioner, this is the Alterna My Hair My Canvas Cool Hydration Nourishing Mask. The scent of this was fine. It was hydrating, not the most hydrating, would not repurchase. I finished the Amica 3D Volume and Thickening Shampoo, had a nice scent. This was not bad. I don't traditionally love thickening or volumizing shampoos and conditioners because I feel like they just leave a weird texture in my hair and it just gives like an odd texture and odd lift to my hair because my hair is so flat i feel like if i had wavy hair this would be really nice so would not repurchase that then i have the Kristen s the one signature shampoo and conditioner so the shampoo is supposed to be high lather and lightly clarifying and i would say that that is accurate and the conditioner did do a nice job of hydrating this has a nice scent to it and i've heard some people really don't like this but I liked it so far. I have another foil sample I'll be happy to use up and we'll see if I want to purchase it in the full size in the future. I think I have some other things I like a little bit more, but Chris and S is a relatively affordable brand. You can get it from Target and from Ulta. Next, I've got the deluxe sizes and first is the Wella Invigo Brilliance Color Protecting Shampoo. I finished the conditioner last month. This is okay. Didn't make my hair too greasy, but didn't do anything special for me would not repurchase if I get any more minis I'll pass them on then I finished the living proof restore mask treatment and when I did my declutter I had three of these so I decided to declutter two and keep one to try it out and big surprise I hated it I actually found it to be very drying my hair was a little bit tangly Living proof products don't work for me. I literally have not liked anything I've tried. I've decluttered several shampoo and conditioners from them this year, but like dry shampoo doesn't do anything for me. Just none of the things that I've tried. So I will not be getting any more living proof products. If I get any little freebies, I will pass them on. I thought this was terrible. Then we've got some dry shampoo. So I had actually 
last month, month before, declutter this Redken dry, clean, dry shampoo. I've used like half of it. But because I've used like half of it, I decided to actually just keep it and use it up. And I went through it very quickly. I... I don't really like the smell of this and it did not do the best job of soaking up the grease in my hair. I've heard other people really like this but if you have very very oily roots I don't think so. Then we've got the Kristen S Style Reviving Dry Shampoo. Scent of this is okay. Did not do a good job of soaking up my oil. I went through this really quickly. No. Don't like that. Then we have a mini of the Dry Bar Detox Clear Dry Shampoo and I love this. I like the original a little bit more but this is really nice as well. It has a different scent than the original and it is a clear. The original does leave a white cast and because of that I feel like the original is a little bit more oil absorbing. I would be happy to get more minis of this. If I saw this at like TJ Maxx for half off I would totally purchase it but I like the original more. Then we've got skincare products. I used up three foil samples. The first is the Replenix Anti-Aging Hyaluronic Acid Hydration Serum. This was okay. I just don't love hyaluronic acid in general. I find it to be a little bit sticky, not do enough for me. I know that your face is supposed to be wet before you put it on and that just like, I feel like I tried to make my face wet. I actually tried a mist and then putting this on and I just don't love it. I don't feel like I need that ingredient. Then I had the Replenix Redness Reducing Triple AOX Cream. This did have a tint to it that really like rubbed into the skin very easily. And it was like a light texture. Didn't make my skin too greasy, it was just okay. Would not repurchase that. Then we have the Beauty Counter Overnight Resurfacing Peel and I was planning on using this as a peel and then I realized it's actually just something you can apply as a serum which I love because that makes it super easy. You don't have to wash it off or anything. I liked the consistency of this. I didn't really get to see if it was going to do anything for me so I would be happy to use up some minis of this but as of right now it's not something that I would repurchase but I liked the consistency. So then I have four deluxe size samples and two full size products. The first is the Kinship Naked Papaya Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser. I did not really love the scent of this. I felt like it didn't do a thing for me. My face didn't feel super clean. It, no, if I get any more minis, I'll pass them on. I went through it really quickly though. Then I did not think I was gonna finish this, but I did, so that's super exciting. The Pure Joystick Exfoliating Deep Pore Cleanser, which is an exfoliating stick and I actually scraped into the little crevices right here. It's actually just like a little layer I can't get down into. And I used it all up and it will not twist up anymore. Let me try to twist it all the way down so you can see how much product there was. I don't know if you guys can quite see that depth, but there was a ton in here. I use this for most of the year. I originally got this half off during the Ulta Love Your Skin event. If I can get it on sale half off again, I will absolutely purchase it. It was very good, very exfoliating, not too rough, super easy to apply because it was in that stick format and lasted me a very long time. And it wasn't so harsh that I felt like I could only use it a couple times a week. I use it about every other day. Absolutely love that. And I have a couple other face scrubs to go through, so I'm not gonna repurchase that yet. But I've tried a lot of face scrubs that don't do anything or are too harsh, and that one is great because it's that nice sandy consistency instead of sugar scrub or a walnut scrub. Very good. Then we have a nighttime serum that was the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment. I really like this. I think it is a nice product. I haven't notice like insane differences from it but i really like the consistency and sunday riley serums i think are like the best products that she makes i wouldn't buy any of her other things moisturizers cleansers oils because i don't like oils i wouldn't buy anything else but the serums but i do think that they're very nice i am always excited to get one to use it up because i do believe that there is preventative skincare and I hope that's what's happening to me because I don't have a ton of wrinkles yet. Very fortunately, I have some on my forehead, but I like that product a lot. Then I finished another mini of my Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb, my favorite daytime moisturizer. I have 
a few more minis to get through and some full sizes, which makes me very happy. And then I did use up a little mini eye cream. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Cream. This was fine. It was a nice lightweight consistency. Did not get any milia, which I'm prone to. Did not burn my eyes because sometimes eye cream will like travel in my eye. This was nice, but I have other eye creams I prefer, including an eye cream from Tarte. So I would not repurchase. I would use it up if I got another. Then you guys, I finally did it. I'm so proud of myself. This is the Olay Deep Hydration Serum with B3 and Hyaluronic Acid. I had gotten this from Pinch Me a couple years ago and it is all used up. I actually had it poured out, banging it on my hand to get out every last bit. And I told you guys, I don't really like hyaluronic acid serums. And I use this on top of body lotion. I was super inconsistent with it this year and I finally finished it. So I use this as a body product, but it is a skincare item. It held a spot in my full size serum category in my inventory. Super happy this is done. And I, as you will see, have to clutter all the hyaluronic acid from my collection just because at this stage, I don't think it's a important or necessary ingredient for me. Then we've got body products. So this is random. I finished my last little sample pack of the Sweet Spot wipes. This box had seven wipes in it in three different scents. Vanilla Blossom, Grapefruit, Verbena, and Rolly Mandarin. What's very interesting is I've seen these travel packs of just the vanilla blossom to purchase and then a full size of the grapefruit verbena and it's something that i would consider purchasing this is something that i use on my period and i do find it very helpful and i i like these i like the texture of the wipes i like the scents i can use just regular baby wipes but i like these a little bit better so i might purchase those in the future then i'm so excited i did finish this my baby bottle of dolce and gabbana the only one perfume so here are all of my markings it took me a long time to get through dabber bottles take me much longer to get through than like sprays so that's why it took forever i really like this scent i have a travel spray size and a one ounce bottle of it really really like this i think that this is a great alternative to ysl black opium except it's a little bit sweeter where i'm just gonna put it bluntly ysl black opium smells like weed on me like there's just like a tinge of weed to it which i don't love and this is just like a better version for me and then I finished a Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple Hand Sanitizer. I really enjoy these. They may be a little bit drying, but I don't mind that. I prefer that over hand sanitizers that leave like a gummy texture to your hands. I really like this scent in hand sanitizer. I told you guys I had to declutter my body washes in this scent because they, they just were not working with my post baby body hormones but I have some more sanitizers that I will use up and then I finished my Dove dry spray deodorant in lavender fresh I did already repurchase this in a different scent one of these bottles usually lasts me about three months which is good because this costs a little bit more than regular deodorant and this does a pretty good job of keeping me smelling fresh and staying dry but again my postpartum after baby body sweats a lot more and is a little bit stinkier which I I hate, but anyway, I love that dinner. I don't plan on trying anything else. Next, I have some things that I am trashing. Unfortunately, I went to use these and they smell awful. And these are the Rahua Colorful Shampoo and Conditioner. I got these in a Sephora play, I think one of my last Sephora plays, and those ended in 2019. So I get it. And these are only supposed to be good for. Oh, it doesn't say, but they're organic. So those are going in the trash, unfortunately. Then I do have some products that I am decluttering, but I did just a few weeks ago post a huge hair, skin, and body declutter video. I will link that in the cards. I go full in depth. You will see all the products that I decluttered. I'm very, very proud of myself. You guys know in these monthly updates, I get rid of a lot of things, but I'm I'm very happy with what I decluttered and I'm really looking forward to doing my updated inventory very soon. But, oh gosh, 
my camera's trying to overheat and we have so much more to get through. Okay, so let me show you the things that I decluttered. There are two things I don't have here because I already passed them on and that would be a couple self tanning products. I got rid of the St. Tropez self tanning face mist and the two hour express tan. Almost everything that I decluttered in that video actually went to a coworker. And then I have seven things that I'm decluttering since that video some things that i was like on the fence about so i'm really happy to say I let them go this is the only thing i did not try it is the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent and b5 i got this as a free gift from also i'm gonna give that to my friend jean along with this two-faced hangover good to go spf moisturizer it was a little bit heavy for me for the daytime but i didn't like it enough for nighttime and then this is something that I really tried to use with hyaluronic acid and I felt like I don't need either of them. This is the Replenix Soothing Antioxidant Mist. I don't think that's necessary for me to have a skincare mist. Then I did decide to declutter these two minis that I was working on because they actually have half a fluid ounce in them. They're gonna take me a while to get through so I would rather pass them on because I'm not loving them. This is the Age Restore Nighttime Therapy. It's a little bit heavy of a moisturizer for me. And then the Dr. Zenovia hyaluronic acid peptide serum. Again, hyaluronic acid just is not for me, so I'm going to pass those on to a friend. I did use them enough to try them myself, but there's like three-fourths of the products left in here. And if I didn't say the nighttime therapy moisturizers from Replenix. Again, there are other things that I like from Dr. Zenovia and Replenix, but I just don't love those. Then I did decide to get rid of this SVR irritated eyelids eye cream because it's very rare that I'm filming two videos in a day anymore and my other eye creams work essentially just as well because when this dries down it can like it just dries down funny I feel like I'm trying to flake some of it off so no then I'm going to get rid of this this is the juice beauty blemish clearing serum I got this in PR and it's a little bit more of like oily consistency and I like serums to be like a little thicker and this was not that so very happy that I got rid of even more things because I got rid of a lot in that video. So just adding these things to the declutter as well, which feels incredible. So I am now going to give you the numbers for all of the products I used up this year. So for hair products, I used up 19 foil samples. Six of those were shampoo products i think all or at least five of them were the briogeo hair scrub shampoo i used up six deep conditioners and seven shampoo and conditioner packets so total of 19. i counted the shampoo conditioner packets as one product then for deluxe hair care products which means shampoo conditioner hair mask dry shampoo leave-in products salt sprays hairsprays, styling things 48 which is a lot then for full-size hair care products i used up six so mostly i think that's dry shampoo and maybe like one or two conditioners so i'm very excited with that so that gives me a total of 73 hair products that's crazy next for body products for foil samples we have eight and that does include perfume samples i only used up a few perfume samples this year i know some of those were lotion and i also had uh i know there was like one body scrub i tried then for deluxe size body products there were 17 again some perfumes some lotions body wash body scrubs also with the deluxe body i did have the like feminine wipes and i think i had four total of that 17 then for full-size body products there were 20 so that includes body washes and i did also include deodorant and my nail polish remover so that took up probably a, a good bit of that but still that's a lot of products so i used up 45 body products total which is not bad at all i don't have a very large body product collection i don't have very many mini so very happy with that 
Then for skincare, I used up 37 foil samples. 15 of those were the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads. And you guys can just imagine the variety of skincare products that I've used up in a foil sample. I used up nine sheet mask type products, either for eyes, lips, or your whole face. I used up four makeup remover wipes which is really good you guys know i used to be a big wipes person and i'm trying to use up what i have and then just stick to cleansing balms and the makeup eraser my seven day chic set and then for deluxe size skincare products i used up 86 that's a lot that's a lot and then full size 10 i'm not surprised you guys know that i was really focusing on my minis so that is really good so my total used up for skincare would be 146 so hair body and skin total used up would be 264 products this year which is amazing i feel really really good about that then for decluttered and trash i only had to trash 11 products this year those would be only 11 products expiring which i feel good about of course i would love for there to be none but i've been working really hard getting through this stash passing things along so i feel good that there's only 11 then for decluttered products so in that large declutter video i posted recently i got rid of 43 products there so including that 43 and including what i decluttered today i got rid of 182 products which is a lot which is a lot but i feel good about that that they all went to good homes and you guys i barely buy hair skin or body products so most of these things i acquired as free gifts in subscription boxes which i am being gifted now which is amazing and through pr so i I don't really feel bad about that and again i'm much happier decluttering things than i am trashing things so let me do the math on how many things left my collection total 456 things left my collection that's insane that's insane. I feel so happy about that. So next I want to tell you about some of the goals that I accomplished this year concerning these products. I used up all of my sheet masks and I didn't have very many of them, but I just don't like these type of products. I've gotten them in subscription boxes recently and literally as soon as I get them, I'm putting them in one of these updates to use up. I also used up all of my Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads and some of those have been kicking around my inventory for such a long time, even though they're one use products. And again, I did have 15 of those. Then I used up all of my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Creams. I had three little mini jars and then I had like just like a free Sephora sample and those have been kicking around for a long time as well. Most of those were from Sephora Plays. I finished my Olay Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which feels amazing. I used up all the feminine wipes that I had. I used all three of my Bumble and Bumble surf sprays and I ended up falling in love with it, which is just amazing. And the next one was that I used up all of my Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Exfoliating Shampoo foil packets. I had five or six of them and I fell in love with the product. So I'm really happy that I had so many of them because one of them did last me a month because I used it like once a week and head over heels in love with them. So happy that I use them up to discover that. That's the same way I feel about the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. It was something that I made myself use and then really fell in love with. So that's amazing, exciting. And like the best part of using up samples is finding something that you really love. Yes, they're high end. Yes, I'm waiting for a sale, but I love them. And I wouldn't have known that if I didn't make myself use the samples that I had. Then these next two, like we're going to be loosely calling them goals. It's basically like ways that I'm happy with my collection. And the first would be that the only dry shampoos I still have would be the Dry Bar Detox, which is my holy grail. The rest of them I either used up or decluttered. Now I did declutter a lot of dry shampoos this year because I just didn't love them. If I like them well enough, I will use them up. But also my sister 
has gone through a ton of dry shampoo this year and needed a lot so I've been able to save her a lot of money and she's been able to give me some good reviews of a bunch of different kinds and she still has some that she's working through that I gave her but actually her favorite is Batiste which she purchased herself because she didn't have any dry shampoo at my parents house and she was at Target and I told her try Batiste and she got the brown one and absolutely loves it which is amazing because you know they have the jumbo sizes at TJ Maxx all the time and it's much more affordable than a lot of the other ones so that was like a win-win for the both of us and it just feels good to only have what I really love and then the last one would be that I treated myself to the full sizes of the Belief Moisture Balm, Aqua Balm, and the Moisturizing Eye Balm, which are my favorite eye creams and moisturizers. And it's funny because I used to think that I did not like that Belief eye cream and then I used a couple minis this year, fell in love with it again and purchased it. I still have more minis to go through because I purchased all of those in kits on sale. So that's just like perfect and I'm just happy to have full sizes of things that I love and that leads us right into all the sample products I tried this year that I would purchase in the full size there are 37 of them I will pop up a picture on the screen of the item and I'm just going to go quickly because I've reviewed them quite a bit the first product is the Briogeo scalp revival charcoal shampoo I've talked about it so many times basically the texture is just so easy to work through the hair unlike most scalp scrubs and you don't need too much of it then i've got four products from system which is a brand i've never heard anybody talk about i got freebies from ulta i really enjoyed the repair shampoo the balance shampoo and hair mask and the color save hair mask the regular conditioner is not hydrating enough for me but those two shampoos did not make me too greasy and the mask just gave the perfect amount of hydration to my very dry ends. I have very oily roots and very dry ends, so I really usually have to do products from two different lines, but because they, for every line I think, have a conditioner and a hair mask, the hair mask works perfectly for me. Then something that I've used up before and already knew that I loved was the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock. I use that as a deep conditioner, has an incredible scent, works so well. I have purchased a full size in the past because it was on sale at Ulta during their hair event. Then some dry shampoos I really loved, the Dry Bar Detox, the Frederick Fakai, the one which has been discontinued, of course, and the Moroccan oil dry shampoo I also really love. I think all those do a great job of soaking up the oil in your hair, giving you a little bit of volume, and they all have an incredible scent. Then there were three leave-in products I used up, really loved. The Bumble and Bumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil Primer, not the oil, the primer. The Moroccan oil leave-in and the Purology Color Fanatic. I have one more Bumble and Bumble. I have one mini and one full size Purology. So it's gonna take me a while to get through those. If I could only pick one, I think I'd pick the Bumble and Bumble. I like the scent of that one a lot. And then, as I've already talked about, the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. That gave some really nice wavy texture to my hair. I would basically braid my wet hair at night and in the morning I would spray it with that. It did a great job of not making my hair too dried out like some other salt sprays can do. Then for skincare products, three cleansing balms I loved. Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, the Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Balm, and the Pharmacy Green Clean. I think that they all work really well. I'd say Clinique is number one, Pharmacy number two, and Belief probably number three, but all of them I say are equally incredible at breaking down face and eye makeup. I wear a lot of makeup and they don't leave my skin feeling too stripped, but they also don't leave a layer of gunk. I do double cleanse, of course, and I would purchase all of them. Really wish everyone I could get on sale, which more often than not is a Clinique. I was actually super bummed that this Ulta Skin event, that they did not have the Clinique because I was planning on getting a backup, but I have some that I've gotten in PR. So I've got some cleansing balms for 2022, but if any of those go on like a 40 or 50% off, I will buy them. Then one cleanser, the Glam Glow Super Cleanse. If I could get this like half off, I would buy it. It is a great cleanser for my oily skin. If you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend it. Then there were some serums I loved. Like I said, from Sunday Riley, the only thing I really like from her are her serums. I really like the Good Jeans, the CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum, 
and the A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I don't notice a ton of difference between them. And like I said, I think it's more of a preventative thing for me at this time, but I think that they're all incredible. I had a full size of the A Plus that I got super sale and then I did get a good jeans in PR that I will be excited to use up. I also really love the First Day Beauty Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Like I said it has that more like gel thicker texture that I really like. It's not oily and then a full size I used up that I got as a freebie so I'm still counting it. That will be the number seven Early Defense Glow Activate Serum. Really nice texture not too heavy just amazing for during the day. And then some moisturizers I used up in love, Belief Aqua Balm and Moisture Balm, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, which is supposed to be a dupe for Belief Aqua Balm, and then also the Dr. Zenovia Aloe Blemish Soothing Moisturizer. I've gotten some full sizes of that in PR, so I don't need to repurchase that, but that one is so good as well. And again, all of those are great for oily skin. Moisture Balm, I think, would be good for oily and dry skin for oily skin, either during the winter or at night. And... I think that the Dr. Zenobia could work for a lot of skin types as well if you have acne or even if you don't, but specifically if you have acne or you have a lot of redness. Then some eye creams I really loved. Of course, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, but I also really love the Clarins Total Eye Lift. I only tried a couple things from Clarins that I really liked. That is one of them. And then surprisingly, the Tarte Wink of H2O eye cream I really liked. I like that one more than the Shape Tape one I just finished. Then the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. I have some peel pads from other brands that I'm using up and I like a lot, but something about the Dr. Dennis Gross really is special. And then the best sunscreen I've ever used would be from Everyday Humans, the Resting Beach Face Sunscreen Serum. And it really does have that serum consistency. It has no color to it, did not make me greasy. You can get it from Ulta. You can use a coupon on it, a drugstore coupon. And the only reason I haven't purchased it yet is because I do have other sunscreens that I need to use up in 2022. Once I use up all of those or all but one of those I will absolutely buy this I love it and it made me use it every single day because I don't use SPF when I'm not going outside I don't that feels wasteful to me but because it was a serum and applied and felt like a skincare step I use it every day which is like perfect for someone like me who needs to step up my game with SPF then I had some body products the first would be the tree hut shea sugar scrub I had coconut lime I believe and it took me forever to use it up but I love the texture of that because I tried some other scrubs and I liked it a lot and I definitely plan on purchasing some more of those this summer they come in a lot of scents and I by the time I realized they had a peppermint one it wasn't available online and then some lotions I really love. The First Day Beauty Ultra Pure Cream Original that sinks into the skin really well but is very deeply hydrating. I did end up buying some jumbo size of that recently. And then I got a little foil sample of the Josie Marin Argan Body Butter. I loved it. It also sunk into the skin. And of course I tried this foil sample like right after it was included as a surprise steal in Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So I will hope it goes on sale again in the future, even though it's in a jar and I don't love that. It was so good. Then some perfumes I love that I have already purchased in the full size would be Dior Joy and Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I purchased both of those in one ounce size. And then the last thing would be these Sweet Spot wipes. They're very inexpensive and I do really like them for them on my period. Even if it's just like a mental thing, it makes me feel a lot better and feel fresh and clean. I could use baby wipes, but I do like that these are scented and I think they're fantastic. Woo! So guys, I know that this was a long video, but I hope you enjoyed hearing the numbers and hearing which things I would actually buy in the full size, considering those were 37 products out of 264. But mind you, some of that 264 was like duplicates, so we're not exactly there, but we can say maybe counting duplicates, perhaps, roughly, that... I would purchase 37 out of 200, let's say, which is, is great. I'm very, very happy with that. And I'm so excited to start a new year of my rolling sample project pan. And I think that I may regret this and I want to make sure I keep up with it. I think that's going to be one of my goals for 2022 is that I'm going to keep a spreadsheet 
of all the hair, skin, and body products I used up, including foil samples, and I'm going to do the math on them, which is really what I'm gonna hate, <laughs> to see the dollar value of what I used up for all these hair, skin, and body products. Because can you imagine how much value it would be for 264 products? Can you imagine? So I would love to know that. Like I said, I think I'm gonna hate the process and I'm gonna love the result. Kind of like, you know, how you like don't love going to like piano practice, but then you get to the recital and then you're excited to do it again the next year. I'm saying this as someone who didn't do piano past like third grade, but my sister did and I know that's how she felt. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for sticking through this video. You're a real trooper. What's even more of a trooper is this camera that tells me my battery is completely full and is still continuing to film. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys do with your samples. And I did, in that declutter video, go through and show you my sample storage if you're wanting an update on that. And my detailed inventory update is going to be coming very soon. Very, very excited for that. I hope that most of my numbers went down. Not everything, but most, I think. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.